What are you reading there, young Dave, my lad? Anything interesting? No, not really. It's a script for today's show. Don't ever sell it, will you? I'll provide today's show. What happens? And if you don't want to know the results, please look away now. <laughs> Stephen seems to get a rough ride. Page 22's a real stinker. I'm sure he deserves it. <laughs> Where is the aforementioned wastrel anyway? Where he's been for the last few days, moping in bed. I wish he'd find a job. Yeah, there must be at least one village that hasn't got its idiot. <laughs> so what about me, Dave? What do I get up to? It seems you get to be all arty. Great, I love art. Oh, me too, yes. The arts are, yes, I'm an aficionado. <laughs> I thought you were a Pisces. Shut up, you young Herbert. So what about you, Dave? Oh, me? Nothing. But, but Basil, he has a real stormer of a show. Oh, of course I do, you lovely boy. A world record for rubbish jokes in a row. <laughs> rubbish jokes? I'll have you know all my jokes are specially handcrafted out of the very finest material and then shipped over here at great cost. What? You pay for them? Not me, no. But the audience does. <laughs> <laughs> now will those titles be? <laughs> Yeah, you lot. You'll like this. <laughs> what do you get if you cross a halibut with a steam ruler? <laughs> a flatfish. Boom, <laughs> boom! <laughs> and rubbish joke number one. <laughs> Ignore him. He'll go away. <laughs> now, Miss Molly... If it's not a stupid question, what is that? Well, it's a big lump of stone. <laughs> I can see that, you little minx. But what is it going to be? This is my sculpture. Aphrodite at the watering hole. Aphrodite at the watering hole? Uh... Knew you'd laugh, Philistine. Yeah, please yourself. And don't call me Phyllis. <laughs> Uh huh, ski ski. Watch it over. <laughs> ski bottle. Chow ski. <clears throat> Something's come up. Uh, change your plan. Enjoy the show. I'm off ski. And if anyone asks, you haven't seen me, right? <laughs> I think we should keep a close eye on him today. <laughs> I suspect the young rogue was not speaking perfect ration just for show, you know. <laughs> 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 oh! Ow. Why do people have to say that? It's not big and it's not clever. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I see. Would you look at the state of that? <laughs> Be warned, children. This is what can happen if you don't get yourselves an education. Mm. Morning, Basil. Morning, Molly. Are you sure about that? Eh? Well, technically speaking, uh, yes, I suppose he is right. Uh, it is one minute to twelve. The words big and deal spring to mind. <laughs> now, let me guess. Bill... Bill, Bill. Who large check for many thousands. Sorry, Bill, Bill. Ah, stuff it. So, Stephen, any plans for today? <sighs> Bit of reading and uh, maybe some telly. Why don't you see if you can find a job? I've got a job. I'm an entertainer. There are the odd millions that would argue with it. <laughs> I'm resting. I'm in between. And what exactly are you in between? Apart from the cushions on the sofa? You, you, you jellyfish! Jellyfish? Yes, you know, lumpy, brainless thing with tentacles that drifts around aimlessly. Oi! I haven't got tentacles. He said tentacles. You don't want to get your ears looked at. <laughs> Stephen, why don't you have a shave, 
put some clothes on and take yourself down to the job shop. Good idea, Mum. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Let me put it another way. If you don't go and get a job right now, you'll feel the blunt end of my hammer and the sharp end of my chisel, OK? OK, there's no need to shout. Have I got a clean shirt? Oh, men! <laughs> Very assertive, Miss Molly. You certainly told him. <laughs> and you. You're as bad as him, you useless furball. You can go with him. Don't be daft. I can't get a job. Give me one good reason why not. Uh, would you settle for the hundred bed ones instead? <laughs> <laughs> the job centre. Now. Does the fox understand? <laughs> but Miss Molly... Quiet! Artist at work. <laughs> I'll talk around. You'll see if I don't. <laughs> oh, no, you won't be seeing me in any blooming job shop. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, any qualifications? Oh, yes. Here we are. I've, uh, got the certificates. I wondered why you walked funny. <laughs> <laughs> in the big, wide world of work, I'm not so sure that swimming 50 metres... <laughs> Much. <laughs> it does if you're drowning. <laughs> Shut it, you. Ooh. And I've got two GCSEs. Woodwork and uh, religion. Yes, he built himself a smashing cross. <laughs> <laughs> and you, have you any qualifications? Oh, uh, not me, mate. Uh, I'm thick as a loaf of grief. <laughs> uh, no, only kidding. I always got gluing reports at school. Really? Yeah. But that was only because I kept setting fire to them. <laughs> I think you're wasting my time. Ah, the penny's finally dropping. <laughs> Let's go to Dreamland for a minute and just suppose the planet has some idiot stupid enough to give either of you clowns a job. Now, what sort of work are you after? Well, something in show business, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show business. I'm a trained entertainer. I did three years of drama school. Yeah, well, you'll be pleased to know it doesn't show. <laughs> well, knock me down and call me Nancy, but I think I might have found just the job for you in show business. Oh, yeah? See, Basil. There's a job going as the romantic lead in a new Hollywood blockbuster. George Clooney's just dropped out. Are you interested? Well, it depends on the hour. Shut <laughs> it, Basil. Of course I'm interested. Well, I'll uh, just make a quick call and uh, see if it's still vacant. <laughs> Hello, is that Hollywood? Wow, Basil Hollywood. I can't believe it. Frankly, I'm finding it a bit of a struggle too. <laughs> Terribly sorry, but would you believe it? The job's just gone. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt got in first just a couple of minutes ago. Brad Luck. <laughs> I don't believe it, Brad Pitt the swine. Are you mental or what? <laughs> Do you really think you can stroll in here and get a job as a Hollywood star? <laughs> Judging by the look in his face, I think the answer to that is yeah. <laughs> then you're a bigger burke than you look. In that case, we'll say good day. Thanks for everything, even if it was nothing. <laughs> Oi! Not so fast. Me? I've got a couple of vacancies here that would suit you two pillocks. <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> well, if we must work, I insist on an executive position with a company car. <laughs> you have to show these people who's boss, you know. <laughs> Executive position, you said, and company car. Waste disposal executive. It's a very important job. Uh, anyway, it gets us out of the studio. <laughs> and think of the tips at Christmas. We'll clean up. <laughs> <laughs> now get to work and empty those bins. Why me? Well, as I tried to point out without success at your audition, I can't work with rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like shooting frogs in a box. <laughs> 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 This isn't so hard once you get the hang of it.
Christ. Mm. You can press the button, Basil. Oh, oh, right, the button, yes. Uh, 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 uh. But which one? The red one. Uh, oh, right, the red one. Uh, OK. <laughs> Seamus Fox is a colour blind, eh? <laughs> Here goes. Oh. That wasn't so bad. So what do you think of the show so far? <laughs> Maybe a little more off this side. Cut! <laughs> 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 Abramsky. Abramsky. Good. Well, in that case, gentlemen, I think we have a deal. <laughs> oh, what a stinker of a day. Oh, yes. Bang on, page 22 as well. <laughs> We're looking at bright saved. At least we got the set. <laughs> hmm. Here is David. Eh? I'm so pleased that on you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oi, Dave, what's going on? Nothing. Oh, stone the throws. Oh! Now that wasn't funny. I'm going to have serious words about this. Who were those blokes? Just mates from school. They were Russian. Yeah, they certainly were in a hurry to leave. <laughs> it's a school exchange, all right? What, with 30-year-old Russian blokes? So, in Russia, they stay at school a little bit longer. <laughs> what is it? Have I got sap written on my forehead or something? Well, now that you mention it... <laughs> and so our disastrous duo tried to sneak home without Molly hearing them. Oh, right, yes, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Just forget I'm here. I won't invoice you for this line. Shut up! Shut up! You're back early. Half day, was it? Ah, oh, Molly. You two got the sack. Didn't you? <sighs> well, uh, technically speaking, yes. <laughs> Though I like to think of it as uh, early retirement. <laughs> well, you two are just hopeless. Yep. <laughs> Suppose you're right. Anyway, what's on the telly? <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Where is the telly? I gave it to the landlord for back rent. No job, no money. No rent, no telly. <laughs> Let's see how long you can last without it. Ah, <laughs> we don't need telly, do we, Basil? Nah, of course not. Ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, indeed, we'll just pass the time with a little intelligent conversation. <laughs> you still. Right, let's go and get a job. <laughs> you have to admit, he has a point. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Stephen, how are we shaping up on the old employment front? How'd you fancy being a butcher? No, I tried it once, but I got the chop. <laughs> Baker? Not enough dough in it. <laughs> Candlestick maker? No, only get on me wick. <laughs> well, that's it. No more jobs and no more rubbish jokes. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, we've tried situations vacant. Time to try situations hopeless. <laughs> This sounds promising. For big money, call Mr Big. Well, get on with it, then. And use your posh voice. We don't want him to think you're an oik. Right. <laughs> Boy, I'll slap your legs. <laughs> no, not you, sorry. <laughs> is that Mr Big? It is. I'm calling about the advert for big money. Yeah, I can climb trees. <laughs> big money probably grows on big trees. You know... There was something strangely familiar about that Mr Big's voice. Hmm. 
<laughs> Go on. Admit it. It's got you thinking, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure I like the look of this place. <laughs> well, I'm absolutely certain I did. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stephen, and this is Basil. Uh, nice place you've got here. <laughs> All it needs is a few curtains. <laughs> oh, demolish it. <laughs> well, we've come to see Mr. Big. <laughs> Mr. Big? Import and export. Oi, don't do that. Conkers? Not just conkers, mate. They're all sixes, those are. And worth an absolute fortune in Russia. Fluffy little nut. Uh, chestnut, actually. <laughs> Horse chestnut. <laughs> That's what conkers are if you're poor. <laughs> He's right. Shut up, both of you. Dave, get home now. Boys. These, uh, gentlemen are just leaving. <laughs> Show them up. You're having a laugh. Eh? <laughs> I'll tell you, Basil, when little Mr Big shows himself, I'm gonna <laughs> flaming kill him. I mean... It was degrading being done over by a bunch of kids. <laughs> <coughs> yes, it was like a scene from Reservoir Puppies. <laughs> you know, I can't help thinking something is missing. Ooh. You're right. I'll give you a little clue. 38 letters, beginning with A and ending in L. <laughs> give up. All the flaming furniture, you <laughs> fattening fool. Oh, all right. <laughs> Gone. It's been repossessed. Uh, repossessed? I didn't know it was possessed in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's gone out for some exercise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I do hope someone out there is keeping calm. <laughs> cool, what a day so far. I've been up to my neck in garbage, got a Chinese burn and a dead leg off Dave's mates, and we've got no furniture. How could it get any worse? Let me tell you a joke. It's Pingle. Brighton. I'm off to work. You've got a job? Yeah. Apparently some agent who's seen my work left a message with Anna. <sighs> Just hope I'm up to it, that's all. It's a big responsibility. Ooh, what is? Paper round. <laughs> Dignity never was his strong suit. <laughs> Never realised paper rounds could be such hard work. <laughs> Still, got paid though. Yeah, another 50 years, we might even get the telly back. <laughs> oh, run a corner, Cover, would you look at this? There must be 40 grand here. Blimey, that's not bad money for a paper round. Idiots, you don't really think you get £40,000 for a paper round, do you? Well, uh, what's this then? A mistake, that's what it is. You have to give it back. Give it back? But, Molly, with 40 grand, our problems are over. You haven't earned it. Besides, it's only money, and it's not yours. How could you live with yourself if you kept it? So, what will Stephen decide? Do the decent thing and give the money back? Or be a cad? Keep it and live a high life, buy a Ferrari, and shoot off with the lovely Amanda to the Riviera to sample sun, sea, and champagne. <laughs> Settled it. When do we leave for the Riviera? <laughs> Stephen! OK. After all, as Molly said, it's only money. I have to say, my admiration for Mr Stephen has just shot through the flaming floor. <laughs> <laughs> Look what the cat 
distracting. I'm sorry about the fall, but business is business. You won't tell Mum and Dad, will you? Don't worry. It doesn't matter. Because, you see, I, and remember the I, have got 40 grand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he came to his senses. Now rule on the Riviera, eh? <laughs> I thought you were going to give the money back. Oh, I did. There was no mistake. The news agent felt so sorry for me. What with me being a grown man and everything? <laughs> being made a fool of like this. What? Having to do a paper roll? No. Having to work with you. <laughs> <laughs> Memo to herself. Get my copy of Fox and Hound from a different news agent in the future. So we're rich! Or should I say, I'm rich. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll send you a postcard from the Riviera. That'll be Amanda. All packed and ready to go, Tiger. <laughs> Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Inland Revenue. Customs. And excise. <laughs> We've just moved in upstairs. And we wanted to pop down and tell you how much we're enjoying watching the show. Oh, that's nice. And to give you this. Huh? It's a bill for unpaid duty, tax and VAT. A grand total of £39,999.99. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not quite so nice. I don't understand. Conkers. Our conquers. I'll take that and you give this to Dave. Easy boy. But he's ten. You're his guardian, I'm afraid. You're my boy. Here's your receipt. Good luck with the rest of the show. Ta-ta. Fancy a drink, love. Oh, my boy. Sorry. Suddenly I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Bye, Amanda. Hello, misery. Ah, oh, well, pot us again. You know what the moral of this story is, Mr Stephen? No, what is it? I haven't got a flaming clue. I was hoping you'd tell me. Ha, 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 ha! Boom, boom! At last! Finished! <laughs> well, what do you think? I can't tell you. It's a family programme. <laughs> Careful with that. Don't... <laughs> Drop it! Sorry. Here, let's just hope that isn't an oddball millionaire art collector on the lookout for a macroscopic sculpture waving his checkbook. Hello! I am an oddball millionaire art collector on the lookout for a microscopic sculpture! <laughs> ah, well. That's another nail in the coffin of television comedy. What's up with you? I thought it was a good show. If only we didn't have to cut page 35. I was so close. Eh? Close to what? Breaking the world record for the number of consecutive rubbish jokes. <laughs> How many were you short? Oh, just the one. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Oh, no, you don't! Here, what do you call a man with no ears? I'm not listening, I'm not listening! Anything no, 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 you're no, no, blooming no, no, no. well like, he can't hear you. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs>